where the screw hole is as well for these types of square outlets. When you're going to cut around an outlet, so the first thing you have to do is mark it. Now in this case it's going to be four tiles going around this outlet. Sometimes it might be two, sometimes it might be one. The marks you need to get at the side. Uh, you don't want to make it too wide to cover it, so just basically the size of the box. And then when you mark the bottom, you want to make sure that the ears of the outlet will sit on top of the tile. Otherwise, uh, when you tighten it down, it's just going to collapse into the, into the box. Make sure that you leave enough tile under the ears so that the ears will sit on it. And then I always mark where the screw hole is as well for these types of square outlets. And I'll explain why a little bit later on. I mark this tile, so the marks I have here, the bottom of the tile, where the ears are going to sit, the side, and also the screw hole. Put some cement on the tile, and now I'm going to put it in place, then I'm going to mark the next tile. I'm going to do the same thing, side, bottom, and screw hole, and then I'm going to cut that one and put that one in place. I'm going to let the ears of the plugs sit on top of the tile, so that when you tighten it down, it'll sit flush. This is what it looks like before I put it in. Put it in place, and you're going to have to do this for all the outlets that are on the backsplash or wherever it is you're tiling. That's the place place that goes over, and just want to make sure that covers all the cuts. Just so you can see it from uh, a different angle, the last piece and then I'm going to tighten these screws down uh, just a little bit. I'm not going to really tighten them down too much, you know, to hold everything in place. You don't want to really crank them down at this point. You, you'll tighten them up the next day when everything is set. That's when you're going to really tighten them down. And I don't want anyone to say anything about drywall screws that are in here instead of the mechanical screws. They were already there when I got on this job. And that's the faceplate on top, and everything's covered. That's what it should look like. Okay, so you saw how I did this one. And I did all these the same way. The reason I leave this, this notch up here, when you put the faceplate on, on these square type of plugs, the screw to hold them in is up here. If you don't make that little notch in there, when you go to put the, this screw in, the screw in here, it'll hit the tile and then you can't tighten it down. So you need to put that little notch in there so when you tighten it down the screw can go all the way down. Now if you've got the regular ones where the hole is in the middle and you've got the other type of switch where the screw holes are you know, further down then you don't need to do that but this type of plug you have to do that. Now put these face plates on. Just gonna have to move these a bit. And that's done. Do the same for the rest of these. So this is the completed backsplash.